Today we will be exploring the story of a goddess known for both her deadly accuracy and merciless nature. Stick to the end of this video to know what I mean by this. But before we carry on with our story, don't forget to support your local bard by tossing in either one like or one sub. Now grab yourselves a cup of mead. The tale is about to begin. Artemis, daughter of Zeus and Leto, was born on the island of Delos. She was the twin sister of Apollo, god of the sun, archery, and music. Artemis is often portrayed as a youthful and strong goddess, her essence closely intertwined with nature and wildlife, and is recognized for her connection with the moon. Leto, a beautiful titaness had captured the heart of Zeus, the king of the gods. But their love enraged Zeus's wife, Hera, who sought to torment Leto at every turn. Leto struggle to find a place to give birth to her divine children became a testament to her strength and determination. As Leto's labor intensified, she wandered across the land, seeking refuge. But everywhere she went, Hera's wrath followed closing doors and denying her a safe haven. Finally, exhausted and in great pain, Leto found solace on the island of Delos. The island, though small and humble, opened its shores to the wary goddess. On Delos, Leto's anguish reached its peak. With the help of her devoted sister, Asteria, Leto endured the agonizing labor. With each contraction, she summoned the courage to bring forth life. And then, in a burst of divine radiance, Artemis, the firstborn, emerged from Leto's womb. Artemis, adorned in a silver robe and brandishing a golden bow, exuded an air of strength and grace. The island of Delos rejoiced, its sands glowing with the newfound light. Leto, overcome with love and gratitude, blessed the island and its inhabitants ensuring their eternal prosperity. One of Artemis's most prominent roles is that of the Huntress. She was an unparalleled archer, capable of hitting her target with remarkable accuracy. Artemis's hunting prowess extended beyond the mortal realm, as she was known to join her nymphs and a pack of loyal hounds to pursue wild game through the forest. Her deadly Huntress prowess would later become the ultimate bane of Actaeon, a skilled and ambitious hunter who ventured deep into the heart of the wilderness. Driven by his desire for glory, he unknowingly entered the sacred grove of Artemis, a place forbidden to mortals. Lost in the dense forest, Actaeon stumbled upon a secluded pool, its waters shimmering with divine enchantment. To his astonishment, he beheld Artemis and her nymphs bathing in its crystal clear depths. The radiant beauty and ethereal presence captivated him. But this sight enraged Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, protector of purity, and guardian of her sacred domain. She would not tolerate trespassers. In a furious outburst, she raised her hand, unleashing her divine power upon Actaeon. Actaeon's human form twisted and contorted morphing into that of a stag, a creature of the wild. Panic gripped his heart as he tried to escape, but his own hounds, once loyal companions, now pursued him relentlessly. Blinded by their instinct, they tore into his flesh, delivering a cruel fate to the transformed hunter. Another tale speaks of Artemis's bond with the mighty hunter Orion. Despite being the untamed goddess of the hunt, Artemis had a tender side that few witnessed. Among her many admirers was Orion, a mighty and skilled hunter who possessed a noble spirit. Orion's valor and loyalty drew Artemis's attention, and a deep bond blossomed between them. Some say that their connection was that of comrades, while others suggest it held a hint of romance. Together, they roamed the vast wilderness, hunting beasts and protecting the vulnerable. 
but fate, as unpredictable as the night sky, cast a shadow over their relationship. A twist of jealousy and tragedy befell their bond. Whether due to Artemis's divine wrath or a scorpion's venomous sting, Orion met his untimely end. Heartbroken, Artemis is grieved for her fallen companion. In his honor, Zeus, the ruler of the gods, immortalized Orion among the stars, placing his radiant form in the heavens. To this day, Orion and Artemis stand side by side, separated by celestial distance, but forever bound in the eternal night sky. A tale that reminds us of Artemis's ruthless nature is that of the Caledonian boar hunt. In the ancient land of Caledon, King Oneus had forgotten to pay homage to Artemis, neglecting to offer her due respect during a bountiful harvest festival. Infuriated by this oversight, Artemis unleashed her wrath upon the kingdom, sending a monstrous creature to wreak havoc and destruction, the Caledonian boar. The ferocious boar, with its razor-sharp tusk and unyielding strength, ravaged the land of Caledon, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. The people lived in fear as crops withered, homes crumbled, and lives were endangered. Word of the calamity spread far and wide, reaching the ears of renowned heroes and skilled hunters throughout Greece. Eager to prove their valor and win favor with the gods, they gathered in Caledon, forming an assembly of the mightiest warriors. Among the courageous participants were the swift-footed huntress Atalanta, the skilled spear-wielder Meleager, and the heroic Theseus, to name but a few. United by their shared goal, they set forth on an arduous quest to track down and subdue the formidable boar. The hunt was not without peril. The boar, fueled by its divine origins, fought back with unrelenting ferocity. Heroes clashed with the beast, their weapons glinting in the sunlight as they strained against its immense power. Ultimately, it was Meleager, driven by his passion for glory and his love for Atalanta, who delivered the fatal blow. The Caledonian boar fell, its reign of terror finally quelled. Triumph and relief washed over the land as the heroes basked in their hard-fought victory. The hunt became legendary, etching itself into the very fabric of Greek mythology. Caledonians, grateful for their deliverance, celebrated the heroes and held grand feasts in their honor. Meleager presented the boar's hide to Atalanta, a symbol of their shared triumph and the bond forged through their shared struggle. But Artemis' tales extend beyond mortal encounters. Her relationship with fellow gods and goddesses weave a complex tapestry of divine alliances and conflicts. In the prosperous city of Thebes, a queen named Niobe reigned with great pride and vanity. Blessed with numerous children, she considered herself superior to the gods, boldly comparing herself to Leto, the mother of Artemis and Apollo. Her insolence did not go unnoticed by the divine siblings, Artemis and Apollo, Outraged by Niobe's arrogance, plotted their revenge. They unleashed their divine wrath upon the queen's household, an act that would forever alter her life. One by one, Niobe's beloved children fell victim to the wrath of the gods. Apollo, the god of archery, rained arrows upon her sons, while Artemis, the huntress, swiftly brought an end to her daughter's lives. Niobe, once filled with pride, now faced immeasurable grief and anguish. Broken and consumed by sorrow, Niobe cried ceaselessly, her tears flooding the city. The gods, moved by her suffering, transformed her into a stone monument atop Mount Sipolis, where she would forever weep for her lost children. The tale of Niobe served as a stark reminder of the gods' power and the consequence of mortal arrogance. Niobe's tears, frozen for eternity, stood as a testament to the tragic consequences of challenging the divine. As the stories of Artemis intertwined with mortal lives, 
They left a lasting impact on both ancient and modern cultures. These tales serve as a reminder of Artemis' power, her fierce loyalty to her domain, and the consequences of crossing her path. Through the ages, the tale of Artemis continued to inspire fear and awe, revealing the complex nature of this remarkable goddess. My good citizens, you have been a most gracious audience. Thank you for listening to this tale. Remember to like and subscribe, and may the gods smile upon you.